Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to understand the most important and the most practical part of the team management. This is called as team dynamics. As the name indicates, we are going to understand different kind of team behaviors and what is the solutions for it. For simplicity and for easy understanding, we are going to learn this entire topic into three important segments. The first one is what is the meaning of team dynamics? Second, what are the general solutions that we can deploy to the different kind of behaviors of the team members? And in third, we are going to understand 12 specific situations. What is the problem in that situations? How to detect it? And what are the solutions that we can deploy for that particular situations? So let's begin. Before going into the detail, what are the different situations and what are the solutions for it? Let's first understand what is the meaning of team dynamics. For simplicity, let's understand team dynamics in four important statements. Team dynamics are the unseen forces that operate in a team and that can be between the different people or different groups. Team dynamics are critical as they strongly influence people's reactions, behaviors and performance. For example, the friendship between the two members, trust level between the members, earlier incidences between the team members can affect the team dynamics. We also need to understand that team dynamics has the ability to make or break the team. Therefore, it is critical that team leader and facilitator needs to manage the team dynamics effectively and at the regular interval of the time. In short, Team dynamics is nothing but the favorable as well as unfavorable forces that is happening into the team and that we need to manage effectively. After understanding the definition of the team dynamics, let's go into the detail for what are the general solutions that we can deploy for the effective management of the team. There are three general solutions. The first one is coaching. We can also have the mentoring and in some times we should have the intervention. Let's understand when we can deploy this coaching. If the team member is knowledgeable, then use his or her expertise to instruct the other team members, of course, with respect. We can also use the mentoring by assigning a role of mentor to the team member with higher experience and subject matter expertise. There is also a need for periodic interventions from the team leader and facilitators if the team is not functioning properly. We had also seen this important statement during the meaning of the team dynamics. These are the some general solutions. But in addition to this general solution, there are specific situations that can also occur. And we should have the specific solutions for these situations. To have a specific solution for these specific situations, we are going to convert that into again three subparts. The first one is we are going to understand what is the problem or obstacle or what is the situation. Second, we are also going to understand how to identify or detect it. And in third sub part, we are going to understand what are the solutions for it. There can be the different solutions or multiple solutions that are possible for the particular situations. And we can test them and we can apply them. To understand these specific solutions easily and effectively, we are going to take 12 specific situations. And we are also going to identify how to detect that 12 specific situations and what are the solutions for it. So let's start the learning of these specific solutions. These situations are also called as problems or also called as obstacles. Now let's take the first obstacle. A person or a group dominates the discussion. In one word that can be explained as a dominating or commanding. Now how to detect it? There are different signs to detect it. The first one is a person or a group of members interrupt others. They try to dominate the discussions. If you are facing these situations, then there is a problem of domination. Now, what are the solutions for it? You can go around the team asking each person for one comment or reaction. Ask dominating people to summarize their proposals and email them to all team members. If there is a different situation, like if the dominating people react negatively to the suggestions of others, then you can ask them for their ideas first or adopt the no judgment allowed rule from the brainstorming technique. We can also speak to these dominating people between the team meetings and we can request them that they cooperate in making sure that all the voices are heard. 
generally the people with the higher authorities or higher experience or knowledge levels are going to dominate the team members the second obstacle can be a person or a group is reluctant to participate these are also called as a shy members now how to detect it members are reluctant to speak or they are afraid to making the mistakes if you are facing these situations then there is a problem of reluctance now what are the solutions for it be sure to welcome and express appreciation for every comment or contribution so that people feel like familiar in some cases we can also form the small sub group that report to the full team so that the team members can be open between the smaller groups we can also make a action assignment for each person with brief report at the beginning of the next team meeting we can also speak to the reluctant people between the team meetings and request that they cooperate in making sure all the voices are heard if they are not going to speak then their knowledge will not be benefited to the team the third obstacle is there is a tendency exists to accept the opinions without data now how to detect that members present the opinions as facts members make assumptions self assurance is seen as unquestionable if you are facing these situations then there is a problem of accepting the opinions without data now what are the solutions for it emphasize the importance of basing decisions on facts from the first meeting onward that means we need to put the importance of data collection and analysis from the day one itself we can also raise the following questions like are there data that can support that how do we know that how could we verify that or who could collect the some data on that by asking these questions we are encouraging team members to collect the data so that we are avoiding the problem of accepting opinions without data the fifth obstacle can be of group thinking what is the meaning of that emphasis on agreement building has influenced a team to speak consensus too early that means opposing views haven't had a fair hearing how to detect that team members are refusing to accept the contradictory data or solutions team members are ready to accept the consensus without testing team members are refusing to tolerate the other ideas if you are facing this situation then there is a problem of group thinking now what are the solutions for it we can provide a full opportunity for the expression of all views we can also support the voices of differences that means if one of the team member is having the different opinion compared to other team members we should listen that we can also ask individuals to play devil's advocate by opposing early consensus as a part of solution to this group thinking we can also follow a best practice to return the conclusion always with the dissenting views the next obstacle can be floundering the meaning of the floundering is the team members are finding it difficult to speak or act usually in a difficult or embarrassing situations the team is floundering because it has lost sight of its goals and objectives how to detect it team direction is not clear team members seem overwhelmed and the decisions are always postponed if you are facing this situation then there is a problem of floundering now what are the solutions for it we can make sure goals and objectives are clear and well understood at the first team meeting we can also start the team meetings by revisiting the goals and objectives and we can also remind the team where is the team with respect to their goals and objectives we can also use the graphics based on pert and gantt chart that will help the team members to understand what is the progress of the team in some cases we can bring an outside voice which often generates new ideas and approaches the floundering is a very serious issue and that should be tackled on time team leader and facilitator's role is very important to avoid the team floundering these are the some important team dynamics that we have seen as a part of this first video due to time constraint we are going to continue this team dynamics into the next video if you found this information useful please do not forget to like comment and subscribe again if you want to learn lean six sigma and mini tab most effectively and practically then please do not forget to visit at vijayasabe.co/join thank you for watching and see you in the next video